This is going to be a two-part video showing you um, how we do global edits and then how we do localized edits. So this is the finished image that we're going to end up with and then we'll take you through the rest of the process. Enjoy. Alrighty, so today we're going to go through a few global edits and a couple of localized edits just to give you an overall feeling for what we do with a picture okay so as always i like to start with a crop just to get rid of what we don't want and just looking at this picture can you see that all of this here in the foreground a is a bit blurry because it was a long exposure and it's just not interesting to us got a little bit of brightness over here which we can fix later and we've got this going on up here so we could retouch that out but i think let's just go the lazy way and uh crop it out so just grabbing our bottom corner and we'll come up most till we've covered most of those plants and we'll hold it there and straight away we've got a much stronger composition and we'll just get the spot tool and we'll take this little thing out here and at the moment that's all I can see let's switch on visualize spots and see if there's anything else out there so all of these are our clouds so they're not spots we've got rid of that one and that's looking pretty good there might be one or two here in the vegetation but they're swallowed up by the vegetation so let's not worry about that so that's our spot healing done now this was a lovely lovely warm um, mid-July day if memory serves right and this picture looks very very cold can you see that it's very very blue so what we're going to do is we're going to try and see if we can select an area with the white balance eyedropper tool to allow us to correct that so we've selected there and can you see it's changed drastically if I just do a before and after can you see we've really warmed it up but as far as I'm concerned, that's still not warm enough. So I'm going to warm it up quite a bit more. Let's just see where we get to. And we're getting warmer. There's, there's, there's more we'll be able to pull out of this as we go along. But that's probably plenty for now. Again, just a quick before and after. So... Um, and it's, all, it's generally a little bit over bright, so let's take it down a little bit. Okay, that'll do for now. And I, I'm not a huge fan of contrast, so let's see if we can get away without contrast. See these areas down here? We've got a lot of shadow detail here, so let's try and bring a little bit of that back. Let's, so can you see how we've brightened up the picture by opening up the shadows again? So, lovely, lovely bit of detail. But we don't, we don't want to go completely crazy and show it all. That's, it, it's almost the opposite problem. So let's, let's just keep a little bit of mystery in that uh, bank, but with some detail showing. Um, and now, to add a little bit of punch, I, I don't use contrast very much or if at all anymore. I like to add contrast with my black slider. And, and that's looking pretty good. So let's again do the before and after. Okay. And because we've added back in a lot of black, we might add back in a little bit of um, shadows. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. And this is the thing to remember. As you go through these sliders, there is no perfect setting for any one particular slider. Cho choosing one like when we'd done the shadows they looked great but as soon as we added some black in for punch it knocked a bit of the shadows back so we went back up and we moved the shadows again so we'll add a little bit of clarity and and i i do all this by eye and then when i come to print it if i think i've really really screwed it up the print will tell me and i can then go back and fix the bits and pieces but let's let's i i try to go for what looks good to my eye initially so 
let's punch up these colors a little bit and so that's that's well look at how much better that is already so let's add a little bit of saturation as well just a little bit of extra punch in there yeah we're, we're we're liking the look of that so that's pretty much a starting position so that's that's a, our global adjustments to that point remember to join us for part two where we do the localized adjustments see you soon